Hi everybody, it's Julie. Today we are making our four yo-yos. Um, we are turning these into tabs or clusters. They will be made out of four of the items from our element list. Let's go ahead and get started. So I have this um, tape to use as my round circle. My yo-yo is gonna end up half this size. And I found when we did the yo-yos for the fabric, the February fabric journal, remember that journal was all fabric. Um, and we did a variety of sizes of yo-yos that that was the size that I really liked. So we're gonna go ahead and go with using this. I'm gonna need a pen for tracing. I've got my thread out, my needle still in the kitty, got my scissors. And so I have chosen, <coughs> excuse me, from the trash, some of this. This is the yellow insert paper from a bouquet of flowers. This is a dryer sheet. And this is some, some fabric that I have in my stash. It's actually a vintage sheet. And so I'm going to be um, drawing my circles on these and then we'll be cutting all of those out. So we'll be doing the same thing on each one. I'll be laying the, I've got a sticker on there. I'll be laying this down and I'm gonna look and see which, which side has, this one has better colors I think. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go around this. Okay, and I'm gonna need two of these. So I'll go around this twice. Okay. And then I'll be doing the same thing on the dryer sheet and on the yellow, the yellow paper. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I need to cut these out. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut right on the inside of the line. You could do them on the, you know, do your drawing on the wrong side and then it wouldn't be, that doesn't really matter actually. So I did just watch a video uh, this week and they used squares and so their yo-yos were just a little bit rounded squares. Much easier to, um, to gather or to sew and to gather. Um, so I would maybe think about that because, you know, when you're going around and you're gonna do the next part of this, um, it being a circle, it's a little bit little bit hard but if you're making a large project and you're making a lot of yo-yos I think I would recommend the doing the same thing we're gonna do here but doing it with um, squares so I'm gonna go ahead and cut those other ones out and I will be right back okay so we have our four pieces Remember, we need to make four of these. I can go ahead and put that back up. It is my dis my double-sided tape. So I have two of these and I have these two here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick out, hopefully I've got one of my easy threading needles. I do. Okay, so, and we'll put the, the pin away so that it'd be easy to find when we need it again. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut. I'd rather have too much than too little. I'm going to double it. I need to be able to at least go around my little circle there. And we'll go ahead and thread this. Then we want to um, double this, okay? So we're gonna come down here. This is kind of thick thread, but it is what I have. Okay, so I've tied a knot in the bottom. I've got this tight. 
and I'm going to go ahead and take this and I'm going to go ahead and come in and I'm going to go about a quarter of an inch and I'm going to start going around my little goodie here. Now the closer that you go, the more um, crinkly you are. So you can experiment with your the size of your stitches. Okay, and you can get a bunch on there and then pull it through. Okay, so there you got an idea of what we're what we're doing here. So we've got four of these to to make. We're gonna go ahead and we'll rush through this and because you're just going to go around and around. I don't know. It's like on these things when you're doing something that you don't really, it's just tedious. Do you need to see the whole thing in the video or is it okay if I um, go ahead and rush through it? So, let's see, we're going to go ahead and go around. You'll see that there is going to be some gathering happening. Okay, so you can start to see the, the look of your little yo-yo here. And I like this variegated crochet thread. I have it in my stash. And you know, I'm just trying to use up the stuff that I have. I've collected stuff for so many years. Then I inherited my mom's stuff on top of that. Um, I also did just pick up um, pick up some of Sally's stuff that they wanted me to have and so I've got quite the plus you know I like to shop <laughs> not so much anymore I just don't even like to leave the house anymore <laughs> unless it's to go visit somebody So there we go. We'll go out. We'll come back in. Okay. And now we need to go ahead and tighten our little guy here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull from both sides. Okay. So I have, there's my end. It looks like a little, little chef's hat or a the shower cap right now let's go ahead and we'll tighten it all the way I don't know what just happened Oh, okay. I was like, my thread just separated. No, it didn't. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I want to make sure that my little cap is going to turn towards the center. Okay. There we go. And we'll tie these two pieces together is how I'm going to do it. really good knot and a really good double knot and we'll cut it okay and then you fold this down into the center and there you have your yo-yo 
okay and that might have even been too tight there we go okay so there's one and so now I'll do the same thing and with the other three and so this one we'll just go ahead and I think I want to be up closer to the edge I think that was part of my problem Make sure you're using a dryer sheet that has been used or you'll be sneezing like crazy maybe. looking forward to going in the hot tub tonight um, I went in the night I came home and didn't go in last night we usually we don't get to go in on Mondays but I'm gonna make sure everything's done so we can go in but it is really hot <laughs> um, and it's not cooling down at night so I mean it, it's cooling down more than it cools down like in Las Vegas or Arizona but it's monsoon season, so. Okay. So, this is, I'm using trash here for the base of this one. I do need to add three more things because you're. Whatever you're using for your base, if it's one of the elements on the list, it does count. And this is um, trash, which is one of the, the elements on the list. Okay, as would be the, the stuff from the flowers. Okay, this one I don't see the edge of it so much this would be cool for like snow <laughs> like Christmas ones okay I'm just gonna tie it on itself here Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and come across here. Okay, so there's my... I think we'll do it. Tie it off. Right there. Okay, so there's that one. So I'll be doing the other two and I'll be back. Okay, so I have four yo-yos. One, two, three, four. Four. This one's a little bit more like a volcano. <laughs> but that's okay. I can use it. And um, I'll put it close to the outside of the journal probably. Okay, so now we are to make either 
tabs or clusters and I'm thinking that um, I'm going to put these together so that they could be either I'm going to grab I'm trying to rip some of the yellow okay So there's a piece of yellow. It is not easy to rip. <laughs> okay. Okay, so over here I have from the other day a long uh, piece of fabric, okay? And so I'm thinking that this could be um, tabs. Okay, so if I cut it, or you know what, let's just, we're gonna cut two, two long tabs out of fabric for our one for this one and one for this one okay and then you know what i think yeah i did i have this is paper and i think i can go ahead and add that to there yep um little box of buttons here oh you know what I have these flowers Ooh, I have these blue ones these are meant to be beads okay what if we add a button we don't have any more of the bright pink ones Oh, green. How about green? Yeah, green has been a pretty prevalent color in this. I wonder if we can... Okay, so we're going to put him... Put that on there. We'll give them each a button. Or I have these, they're erasers. Hmm, I think they're too too red for what I want to do here. Okay. Um don't need to be doubled okay so remember you have to add your three things so we've got stickers and fabric the button is not one of our things ooh okay so we do need to sew that on or something okay we're just gonna So our our button <laughs> gets stuck in things. Okay, got some fray there. I'm afraid so. Okay, so if we have our little guy. And we want to he can be on the button why not let's go ahead and okay go through
Okay. We're turning him into a button, kind of. Okay. Go through. Go through our flamingo. So don't forget you can sew things on also. Okay, so I sewed I sewed that on there. I like that. And we'll come down here and close this off. So we've got trash, stickers, fabric. stickers fabric oh I love it okay this can come okay okay there's that um, how about oh roll of paper roll of paper. There we go. I like it. Okay. Roll of paper. Put our glue on our roll of paper. This is going to stick out. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing with that one. So let's move on to, okay. So I'll have two of those. Let's go ahead and, well, we know we're going to do the same thing with that. So let's come over and figure out what we're going to do here. So we have linen. This is a bed sheet, so that's actually a linen. scrap of lace. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and so remember you can make either tabs or a cluster. Okay. So some will go from the and some will go from the bottom. And then this will go on it. Should we do green buttons on it too? I like the green. I like the pink. And I like the yellow. Okay, so we have trash, linen, lace, and you know what? Let's go ahead and add a ticket. We'll add a half of a ticket back here. Okay, so we'll go with this ticket. Yo, yo. Okay. And then we'll add our button. Okay, make sure you're knotted at the end. So we'll have two of these and, ha, I forgot I said that and didn't have it knotted at the end. 
Okay, so we'll have two of each of these kinds of tabs. Um, and they have their four items plus the button. And I could put pineapple on this one. we have a pineapple okay so that's a sticker the other hole. It's there. Okay, lift the sticker up. Oh, and it went right to, wow, we got it right through the hole. You can do it. What is it stuck in? There we go. <laughs> it's stuck. Blooper. told you there wouldn't be any bloopers this week though because I'm trying to play catch up from being gone okay okay let's turn that that direction okay I'm only going through it once okay I'll tie it off at the bottom So our sticker gave us our other item. Well, and our ticket. Okay, love it. Very novelty, very novelty. So this is what we've, what we've got for um, tabs. I think they're really, really fun. So let me go ahead, I'll finish those and we'll be right back. And here we go. That is that one. So we have all four yo-yo tabs. And now all we need to do is find their place in the journal and put them in there. So out comes the journal. We've got great edges already. So we'll be adding those to those edges. Okay, four tabs to go in the journal. And let's see, we've got, these two are alike and these two are, I mean, they're similar. So we've got this here and what if we, Let's kind of look, I'm thinking towards the back we need. Oh, that would be a good page for something. I think one of the, the thin ones because I think we'll go with this one here. Um, one of the thin ones because of the volcano effect I ended up with on that one. Okay, so there's that. I think 
will come down here and put this yellow. I'm going to put it Oh, we've got a upside down uh, pineapple. Yeah, we don't want to have an upside down pineapple. Okay. Okay, so that gives us that little guy. Somebody could go up here. I kind of like the idea of the yellow because it'll kind of be in the middle ish. This journal's getting a little chunky. I might not be making more of these. I might just go with the four that we. It was the requirement. Okay. Ooh, even though they're right on top of each other there. Hmm. I didn't didn't realize that, but that's okay. Okay, that one's gonna stick out more. I don't want it to stick out that much. Blooper. put it in. We could, you know what, I think we'll just put this little piece on here because I, I've got that right there. It's like, what if we put this down here? I think that's what we'll do. We'll put our glue on here. Okay. There's that. And then, okay, so this is what we've got. We've got one here, which yellow, this one here, this one here. of this might be a good spot. Okay, I think so. Except I wanted to do something there. So, and that one's right there. So let's go back a little. How about, yeah, map page is good. here at that okay Let me check it for the edge oh yeah perfect it's there, but it's subtle. Okay, I like that. Okay, so we need to do something over here on this side. And it can just be a little something. I think we'll add a little piece of lace to this one. Maybe some of our blue and white washi since we have the ocean on the other side. 
remember you just have to do something that makes it like they go together and a little bit of lace okay okay now we come to this page and Do we have any more? We have pineapple. I'll give it two pineapples. And a couple of hearts. And what if we add add this to the edge? Okay, um, it can be it can hold something, possibly. I'm just gonna put glue right on the edge, so it could could act like a. Um, clipboard and hold something. I like that. I'm going to give it just a piece of the lace. stick out the other side okay okay and then we have this one I don't think this one needs much I think we'll give it washi washi down here now you can journal in in here you could use it as a coloring page and color in there if you wanted um, It's like, what else can we do here? Um, we do have an unusual. I think we'll do that. The purple create. Just for something different. Okay. Okay, and we've got one more. And, oh, we've got this cool page. I love this, this page. It's like one of my favorite, favorite things in this whole journal is this page right here. I do have some more fabric. I do have a long fabric. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I don't do I do we need no, we don't need fabric. But I think fabric might be kind of fun on here. Okay, so we'll put fabric on here. So I'm just um you know the challenges are to 
tips, help us find ideas that help us to finish journals, okay? Um, on top of coming up with ideas, um, new embellishment ideas and things like that. But this way of going through and, okay, I put this in, let's go ahead and decorate this whole area right here. Um, I think that that's going to have an effect on how things get finished. So I'm going to go ahead and add a stack of, stack of note, okay, here. And so just adding three of these notes. Um, this will be a place that I might be able to put one of the paper clips that I haven't made yet. <laughs> so we're going to be making four paper clips. But I think this will give us some more journaling space. And I love these note papers. I think that these note papers are really, really pretty. Stack a stack a note, we call that. Okay. Whoop. Sometimes we put them under a fabric flip, and that could still happen. But I really like that. That is the opposite page. We did also add this here. And I think it, it needs it needs something else here. I'm going to go ahead and add this. Also, okay, and then I've got this little piece left. Just come over and put it right here. our fabric tack. Yeah, I like that very much. You saw that that part of the fabric had not been um, gathered. So there is our tab and then we decorated this area on the other side of it. Okay, so then coming here we have a tab here and we just lightly decorated this right here. And I really like that. Okay. And then we have the yellow one. And we went ahead and we did this little bit over here. And we did leave a spot right there that we can put something, possibly even... Well, things are, things are in here. I wonder if it'll hold that. Hmm, we'll see. Okay. Okay, and then for the last one, we just did a light decoration over here. And that is, that is okay. It's just that you want to have your two pages where you're putting your items in um, decorated, okay? You know, it might be kind of cool to... I'm gonna stick some of the yellow over here. This is the yellow from the, the flower bouquet. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, so that's today's video. Our four yo-yo um, tabs. 
or clusters. So you could do these and have them be clusters. I chose to have them be tabs and you can see they're sticking out just a little bit. This one might be sticking out a little bit too much. And so blooper, you know, it's okay to fix things. We want things to be the way, you know, the way that we want them. We want them to be the way that we want them. I don't want that to stick off quite that much. Okay, so sticking off like this one, I think that's perfect. Remember we have our little flamingo, our little pineapples. Okay, I love it. We got our four yo-yo tabs in there and I like that we used a variety of things. And later today we have our collab reveal. It'll be me and Kara together. So come back and check that out. It'll be 2.30 this afternoon. Um, Pacific Standard Time will be live. And um, you'll get to see, we'll both be live. And we'll reveal our kits and what we're doing for the collab. It is tropical this time. It will go along with these themes. Uh, the theme of my challenge journal and um, of course I'll be making another one for the collab so I hope you'll come back and check that out or at least come back and check it out later um, it will be a live video so yeah and of course we'll be back tomorrow find something to celebrate every day have an amazing day I'll see you tomorrow and this afternoon <laughs> bye bye bye